Hi guys, got quite a few projects to catch up on now that I've come back from holiday. I've got one from Bignatech 1000. Wants a three-wheeled car with the single wheel at the back. Now he put the comment on the cereal box rubber band powered car that I built quite a while back. So I'm guessing that he wants a three-wheeled car made from a cereal box. Didn't actually say that, but that's what I'm going to do. So, being as my grandson was with us the other day, and we had to buy some cereals for him, we've got this um, empty cereal box that I will use as the chassis for the car. So I'll stick a drinking straw at the front for the axle to go through, and at the back I'll cut a slot for the wheel to go in the middle and put drinking straws either side and the axle will go through that way. For wheels, I'm going to use these wheels from one of my other projects. They're just ordinary CDs with bottle tops hot glue to the middle for the hubs. The only problem I've got is my barbecue skewers are not quite long enough to go right across the box. So the easiest thing I can do is extend the skewer, make it longer. And to do that, I've got some very thin drinking straws here. That are just about big enough to go over the barbecue skewer. So I can make it that little bit bigger. And that'll do to get across the width of the cardboard box then. I'll pop a little bit of hot glue in there just to hold it still. And that'll do for the front axle. Then for the back wheel, I've got a pack of five CDs here. And some wooden dowel that is the right size go in the middle. So I'll drill a hole oh, not that end, that's got a slot cut in it. Oh, that one's got a hole drilled in it already. So I'll drill a hole through the middle and then use that on another barbecue skewer as the axle for the back wheel. Right, that hole that's drilled through there is not very accurate, but it should be alright. So that's the back wheel. I'll put a little peg in here for the rubber band to grip onto and we can just wind it up on one side and that should be good enough got a big hole in the back of the box so that the wheel can go there I think what I'll do is I'll put some drinking straws there just to hold it in place. A couple more bits of drinking straw at the front there. We've got our barbecue skewers joined together with a little bit of drinking straw there, small drinking straw. So that's our front axle and then at the back a couple of bits of drinking straw and our wheel at the back. So now we need to make a hole at the front here somewhere so that we can attach a rubber band. There's a little hole I've cut at the front and put a bit of barbecue skewer across it so that I can connect the rubber band up. And just to make it look a bit pretty I'm going to stick some bright card to it now. Test run time. Here's our car covered in that 
bright yellow paper. So I need to attach the rubber band. Just looped it round that bit of barbecue skewer that I put on the front there. And I made myself a hook on the end of a stick so I can poke it right up through and get hold of the rubber band. There we go. Just hook that on the back. It's in the dark a bit there, isn't it? There we go. Wind it up. Pick the camera up so we can chase it. I don't expect it will go all that straight, but we'll see how we get on. That actually went better than I expected. Summary time. What have we got? We've got a cereal box that I've covered in bright cardboard for no other reason than to make it look pretty. Let's see, it's still the cereal box underneath. We've got a single wheel at the back. It's actually a five pack of CDs um, and a thick wooden dowel that happens to be the right thickness for the centre of the CDs. A barbecue skewer going through. A couple of drinking straws for the axle tubes. Same sort of thing at the front there drinking straws for the axle tubes, barbecue skewer for the axle, CDs with bottle tops for the hubs. Little hole at the front with a bit of barbecue skewer across it, skewer across it with the rubber band connected to it. Rubber band goes right through the middle of the box, comes out the back if you're lucky. There it is, and we just connect it onto that little bit of barbecue skewer I've put on the back axle there. So there we go. Job done.